Hi, I'm Dr. Ken Henry, and this is Conservative Commentary. Good news out of Pennsylvania for the Trump campaign. But before we begin, I'd like to ask you for a favor. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. This really helps us grow the channel and get the message out. Also, please go to youtube.com slash at Kenneth J. Henry and check out our other videos. Democrat Senator John Fetterman just gave an interview in which he discussed the groundswell of enthusiasm for Donald Trump in Pennsylvania. Fetterman is known to speak his mind, and I'm sure his honesty has upset many of his Democrat colleagues. But there's more news out of Pennsylvania that spells trouble for Harris. The Philadelphia Firefighters Union just endorsed Dave McCormick, the Republican candidate opposing longtime Democrat Senator Bob Casey. This endorsement is a huge harbinger of the state of mind of the voting public in Pennsylvania, and it bodes well not only for McCormick, but also for the Trump campaign. Take a look at these two clips and share your thoughts in the comments. We point out Mayor Eric Adams, and I think the conversation we're having is right, because he, it's just, he's an exception to the rules. Right? It's notable yep. now because yep. everyone else is doing it. But there they is, went after him, and that's also why. He knows what it's like to have the government weaponized against him. Well, there's another Democratic uh, politician who, who's kind of a zig to everyone else's zag, always saying something different. And that's Senator John Fetterman of Pennsylvania. And he's saying, hey, look, you drive around Pennsylvania and you see something different about the support for Donald Trump. There's a difference between not uh, in not understanding, but also acknowledging that it exists. And anybody spends time driving around and you can see the intensity. It's astonishing. I was doing an event in Indiana County, very, very red, and there was a, 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 a superstore of Trump stuff, and it was a uh, hundred feet long, and it was dozens of T-shirts and hats and bumper stickers and all kinds. Of, I mean, it's like, where does this all come from? It's the kinds of thing that has taken on its own life on that. And it's like something very special exists there. And that doesn't mean that I admire it. It's just like it's it, it's real. <laughs> uh, yeah, my hometown where I grew up has a Trump store. You go to eastern Tennessee where we were for the football game. I mean, there were Trump stores in almost every town. I mean, it is a different phenomenon. He's simply acknowledging that, um, which you would think and believe translates into outcomes. You, you, you like brought this up. He, I, I, I think it's notable. So I think I want to say it because his comeback is, is astonishing. <clears throat> it's, it's inspiring. Fetterman. Fetterman. His physical comeback is, <clears throat> yeah, is incredible. Better. And I want to give him a lot of credit for everything that he's done on that. Um, and as to whether or not, you know, the last thing he said about like the what he's talking about is like the the the, the visual manifestation of Trump support. But um, he said this as much before, like with blue collar rural voters in Pennsylvania. He said, I don't what do you say? I don't admire it, but I observe it. It's, yeah, it's, it's real. real. I actually think he admires it to some extent because I think he wants to be someone who's connected to that level of the of the voting public. And he sees that Trump is so connected to it. And so I, I do think he's a curious enough person to go. What's going on here? I've talked to people on the ground in Pennsylvania, and they will tell you it's real. That if you're there, you don't believe that it's as tied as they say it is. I'll say this, too. Somebody who's been on campaigns, when a campaign is winning, you feel it on the ground. I remember so vividly being in up in rural Wisconsin, northwestern rural Wisconsin, and D.C. was saying, Hillary's got this. And I was like, it's impossible. I'm <laughs> feeling this. And that's the feeling that he's seeing. By the way, in Pennsylvania, there are horse and buggy Amish Trump parades going on. Um, that's the level of penetration that Donald Trump has. The Amish generally kind of stay out of it. Um, they're doing Trump parades right now. I was now. going on the spectrum of lifestyles. I think you have Donald Trump over here. And the, the Amish. Yeah, this had that. Yeah, talk about bringing that. everybody He's together. He's bringing here. the Jews, the Muslims, the Amish, That's everyone quite, together. It is a coalition. <laughs> so I want to ask you, though, what are some of these um, stories I'm hearing about the Senate race in uh, Pennsylvania? Because I feel like this could be in, an indicator of things that are to come with Bob Casey, the incumbent Democrat. Well, he's just lost a key union endorsement, and he appears to be trying to kind of run away a bit from the Harris campaign. Tell us a bit about that and what that might be telling us. That it's really interesting with Casey. He's been he's been in office for 18 years now. This he's running for his fourth term in the Senate. Um, Dave McCormick uh, has been a fairly strong challenger up to this point. He uh, he's closing the gap, at least according to the uh, 
to the polls. The Cook Political Report now has this in toss-up territory. And like you said, uh, the Philadelphia Firefighters Union, Local 22, has endorsed him after endorsing Casey in the past. So he's definitely gaining momentum, and it's not going to be as easy as a, of a race for Casey um, as it has been in the past. And I think McCormick on the ticket in some ways, given his reputation, um, you know, the fact that he served as a hedge fund CEO in the past, not necessarily that blue collar Trump base as much. So maybe there's a sense of they help each other because they're different enough as far as who they appeal to here in Pennsylvania.